The Romans are still the world's most notorious expansionists, and for good reason. At their height, they held 1.93 million square miles of land, having conquered some of the most powerful territories on Earth at the time. The Empire Without End set out to build a limitless empire and achieve world domination, and they very nearly got it. At their height, they controlled most of Europe, including Italy, Greece, Spain, France, all the way up to England and Wales, as well as Egypt and other parts of North Africa and much of the Middle East. Considering the list of heavyweight empires who the Romans had to vanquish to get there, it's no wonder they're now the stuff of legend. But in the age of the internet and air travel, it's easy to underestimate just how exceptionally large that empire was. How did they control such a vast area before there were even railroads? Of course, they were sending supplies and messengers constantly, and they were bringing the valuable rewards of the places they'd conquered back to the capital. They were greatly helped by the Mediterranean Sea at the center of their empire. But there's gotta be more to it, right? Yes, roads. The roads that were built by the Roman Empire had a huge impact, not just on their ability to keep expanding, but also on the history of Europe. Like other incredible monuments that still stand as if to prove the power of the Roman Empire, there are a surprising number of Roman roads still in use today. While some have since been redone with modern asphalt highways, there are many still paved with their original Roman cobblestones. They don't make them like they used to. A lot of the intact roads were considered by the Romans to be their most strategically important. The Appian Way is definitely one of these. The Appian Way, also called the Via Appia, and known to the Romans as Queen of the Long Roads, was one of Rome's most vital military roads. Construction began on this incredible road back in 312 BCE as a route for moving military supplies and troops through Italy. But the road has an incredible and dense history, continuing all the way to the 20th century. This road became one of Rome's most essential constructions. It was, in fact, the first long road outside of the greater city of Rome that wasn't Etruscan, and as such, it allowed the Romans to make their first major conquest. Thanks to the Via Appia, the Romans defeated their Greek neighbors that had created city-states and colonies in Italy, taking southern Italy for themselves, and so began the Roman conquest of the world. But the road saw plenty of action after that. In 73 BC, the Third Servile War broke out under the famous ex-gladiator Spartacus. While Spartacus's slave army defeated many Roman armies over two years, he finally made a mistake and unknowingly led his people into a Roman trap. Several thousand rebels were captured or killed, and finally, the Romans crucified 6,000 slaves along a stretch of the Appian Way in one of history's most gruesome events. But the road saw its most recent conflict in World War II, when the four-month-long Battle of Anzio broke out along the ancient military road. As important as the Via Appia is, it certainly isn't the only Roman road that can still be seen today. As the Roman Empire expanded outward, it created roads in new territories, but some of them, interestingly, have a history dating back even further than the Romans. The Via Domitia is one of these. The Romans paved the road in 118 BCE when they took control of the territory, but the road had been used as a dirt path for a long time before they upgraded it. In fact, it was the road that Hannibal used to invade Italy 100 years before the Romans claimed it. It also appears in one of Greek mythology's most important tales, the story of Heracles. It is said that the Via Domitia is the road he led the stolen cattle along. However, today, it is still interesting for the Roman bridges that were built along it. The Pont Ambroix is unfortunately a ruin now, but the Pont Julian is not only still standing, but is actually still used by pedestrians. And that's not the only remaining mark that Rome left on the south of France. Along Rome's Via Julia Augusta Road, you will still find a number of bridges, but the most spectacular is Pont Flavian. This particular bridge is of significant archaeological interest, not only because of its great condition all these centuries later, but also because it is the only surviving example of a Roman bridge of this type on Earth. No other Roman bridges bounded by triumphal arches can be found today. This one was built as a monument to Lucius Donius Flavus, a local aristocrat of the time after his death. This fascinating bridge has needed some repair in recent times though. A part of it did collapse in the 18th century, and more recently, during the Second World War, its beautiful pillars were crashed into twice, once by a German tank and once by an Allied truck. Following these near disasters, its use was limited to foot traffic to help preserve it. None of these are the most famous Roman structures in France though. Everyone has seen images of the famous Pont du Gard, this iconic Roman aqueduct crosses the Garden River, and its beautiful arches have become almost a symbol of Roman architecture. It is still in spectacular condition today, largely because of its use as a toll road during the Middle Ages. 
The bridge section was once used for vehicles, but these days only pedestrians are allowed on the breathtaking ancient structure. You can find more Roman structures in other countries too. In Spain, Alcantara Bridge over the Tagus River was built in 106 AD and inscribed with words meaning, I've built a bridge which will last forever. Whoever wrote that wasn't wrong either. It certainly is still standing, despite being damaged several times throughout its long history. It's one of three similarly named Roman-built bridges on that river. Most of Britain's Roman roads are gone now, replaced by modern roads. Only traces of Rome's infrastructure still remain, like the still-standing bits of Hadrian's Wall, which separated Roman-ruled Britannia from Scotland, or the ruined Chester's Bridge, which is also in Northumberland. Like England, Germany also lacks evidence of its Roman rulers, with one exception, Manfred Bridge. It is the oldest standing bridge in Germany, built by Romans around the 2nd century CE across the river Moselle. Today, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Of course, the empire also stretched across modern-day Croatia, Greece, Bulgaria, and Turkey as well. You can still travel some of these roads today, in whichever form they still exist, such as the Via Militaris. This monumental road stretched from Belgrade to Istanbul. A section of the Roman-built road can still be seen today in Serbia. Follow the Via Pontica, and you'll reach the even more interesting ruined Trajan's Bridge across the Danube in Romania. It was built in 103 CE, but what makes it so fascinating is that it wasn't ruined by the passing of time like most Roman bridges. It was ruined by a Roman. Trajan's successor, Hadrian, purposely destroyed it to prevent attacks from invading hordes who could have used the bridge to their advantage. The Via Maris, which means Way of the Sea, can still also be traveled and is another example of a road that actually predates the Romans. It was, in fact, an ancient early Bronze Age trade route. The Romans used it to connect Egypt to Syria and beyond. That's not the only road in the area. There are still a surprising number of Roman roads in the Middle East, including the famous road that leads you through the gates of the ancient city of Petra. In Iran, you can also find Caesar's Dam and the remains of the bridge that crosses it, both built by Roman workers in the 3rd century CE. This is a bit of a curiosity, because Iran was one country not ruled by Rome. It was part of the Persian Empire. Legend has it that the Persian Emperor captured the Roman Emperor and forced him to use his army to build the dam and the beautiful bridge to cross it. All roads lead to Rome, they say, and they're not wrong. Many of the world's roads were originally built to do just that, connect Rome's capital directly to every major part of its vast and ever-expanding empire that survived for more than 400 years. These roads were an essential part of the empire's success. After all, when the sides of your empire are as far apart as California and New York, you need to pave a way for the shortest route possible. Even with the roads, researchers believe it would have taken seven weeks to travel from Constantinople in the east of Rome's empire to London in the west, which proves it would have been impossible for Rome to have controlled the expansive domain that they had without their far-reaching roads. But not only were they practical, they also meant that Rome left a permanent mark on the world. These Roman roads were used heavily throughout history, and it is a testament to their power and prestige that some remain in use today. For more videos on the most amazing forgotten parts of our history, be sure to subscribe to the Intrigued Mind channel, like the video, and leave your suggestions in the comments below.